Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Make It Make Sense. And as usual, we're trying to get stories out, put out on the channel. And sometimes they make sense and sometimes they just don't. You know, it just is what it is. It's not our yin to our yang. It's just not presented correctly, however you want to look at it. But that's my other channel. Make sure you go over there and subscribe as well. But we got to talk about a situation. I did a video about racism over there on Dave Chanel's 40th World. It got flagged, of course. So I'm not going to get paid for it, but that's okay because we need to let people know that's still not a good thing to be doing out here in society. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It costs you more now than it did, you know, in the latter years. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. That's how it grows, people. I know y'all know how it goes, so just subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, why haven't you, okay? Why haven't you? You ain't got to sit on the curb no more. You ain't got to peek through the bushes. Just come on in. Come on in the house. Everybody's welcome. Uh, until they start cutting up. Because we don't moderate adults. You get on, get in here and you start acting a fool. Yes, we're going to throw your ass out. Yep, that's pretty much how it's going to go. But anyway, hopefully it won't go that way for you. And you'll sit, chew the fat, shoot the shits with me. And then you'll move on to the next time. The next time I invite you over. Okay? But uh, we got to talk about somebody. We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. We got this Caucasian man on Big Brother. And he said the N-word in passing. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. We have not given you the card to be able to say you're black and you can use it. Now, if you were born up, you know, grew up with blacks, you stay in the same neighborhood, you ran with the kids that were black, then we'll probably give you a, a card, okay? We can mm. represent you as one of us, all right? Because half the time, if you see them with one of us, they treat us about the same. And they be looking at their Caucasian race like they're crazy. Like, why are you with this person? Don't you see what skin color they are? But, you know, that's how it is. He messed up. Messed up real bad because he got thrown out of the big brother's house. Uh, I don't know what his name is. Luke, I think it is. Yes, Luke Valentine. So we're going to go in and see what he did to get uh, voted off of, of the show and see how it transpired after he got uh, let go. But we get it from 2fab.com. Mm -hmm. We got to cite our sources. Uh, and it says, uh, Big Brother contestant booted for using the N-word, the N-I-G-G-A. That's how we use it, meaning the black community, if we want to, you know, throw it around here and there. Because it's, it's uh, I don't know why it's like that, but in our mind, that's something that, you know, we okay with. You know what I'm saying? We be dapping up with. We glad to see you, and we might use that word. You know what I'm saying? But, see, they use it as the N-I-G-G-E-R like, we're back in slavery, you know, and they think they own us and they can do whatever they want to do with us because we're their property. Oh, Lord, that was so, so far in the back. That was our ancestor days. You can't get away like that no more. If the law won't uh, do something with you, we will. Yes, yes, yes. You might come out with a black eye, broke bones. I, I don't know. Just depends on the infraction and the person that you're dealing with, okay? But anyway. <sighs> the title of his of the article that Too Fab brought out, it says, Big Brother contestant booted for using the N-word, break silence, but not to apologize. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. He ain't apologizing for using the N-word. We got to get on into this article and see why, okay? He look kind of, you know, he look kind of questionable. I ain't talking about gay or that. I'm not like, his, his uh, mentality. He looks kind of, mm, you have to sit and watch him. I'm going to be in a room by yourself with them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I am uh, drinking my cocoa. My son uh, made for me. So if y'all hear me slurping or you hearing me, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what is it called? Clearing my throat or sniffing. It's because my allergies got me going. I don't know why. I just woke up with it this morning and here we are. But, uh... It says, uh, as captured on Big Brother Live, the Salute Valentine casually dropped a racial slur while talking with 
been a racially diverse group before quickly trying to cover it up. And it wasn't long after that he was removed from the game for violating its code of conduct. Okay. Fans haven't heard from Big Brother 25 contestant Luke Valentine since his unceremonious boot from the house this past Wednesday after he casually dropped a racial slur while talking with a small group of racially diverse house guests. And so now that is. The disparaging wasn't dropped as a targeted slur at some way, but casually he told them, I'm in the effing cheese room, Igor. Uh, he quickly tried to replace the word with dude. Uh, Jared Fields, the only black male in the house, was in the room and after a pause, told Valentine, yo, you're not off the effing ledge. He later explained he was shocked in a moment and certain, uncertain on how to respond for a myriad of reasons as detailed here. Valentine also subsequently mo- removed from the game with then head of the household, Riley Smitley, reading a message to the house guest that he's been removed for using a racial slur. Corey, can't pronounce his last name, who was also in the room alongside uh, that. His, is it his am? Gooley? Attempted to explain what had happened. Four days after his removal from the house, Valentine has broken his silence on the matter with a new video that danced around the subject of his removal from Big Brother, but offered no apologies. Okay, shared to Instagram stories on Sunday night. And again, his ex uh, Twitter page Monday afternoon, Valentine appeared to be getting in an outdoor workout. So let's see what he had to say. Uh, doing his little video. Hey guys, just letting you know, I'm alive, I've arrived, and uh, you got to keep the flames stoked until next time. We can't burn out. No, no, no. The fires of love will continue to burn, baby. So thank you for all the memes. Thank you for all the support, all the kind words. And uh, now we're just waiting on Duke. Can anybody tell me what the hell he was talking about? Was he trying to say something that just went badly wrong? Was he trying to talk over our head? Or was he putting us under a spell? What the hell was he talking about? Okay. Can anybody in the uh, chat in the family house, can you tell me where he was going with it? Because he sorely missed the mark. Okay. He missed the mark because I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. I didn't understand it. So can anybody just tell me what the hell he said? Okay, but anyway, we move it on. He he better off didn't do a video, period. <sighs> but anyway, he says, hey guys, just to let you know I'm alive. Where why wouldn't you be alive, son? Why wouldn't you be alive? Uh I've arrived. Where are you going? Okay, where are you going to? Where did you where was your starting point? And where is it gonna be your ending point? Come, tell us more, because you're you're talking talking too cryptic. For me, but anyway, I uh, said I've arrived, and you got to keep the flame stoked until next time. He told his followers, uh, "We can't burn out. No, 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 no. The fires of love will continue to burn, baby." Is the bro? Is the brother on something, y'all? Is he on something? Because, like I said, he should have just not said anything. Just let it die down. You know, it'll die down sooner or later. Some people will still remember, but they really won't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But he coming out, adding fuel to the fire because, like I said, he's talking about love will burn. I mean, are you uh, apologizing? Are you saying that, yeah, you did the, said the wrong thing, you know, uh, and, you know, love will conquer all, you know? It's like, you know, I, I made more sense just then and there because you didn't make any sense. I'm like, brother, what are you talking about? You had enough time to think about it, talk to other people about it, get your head together on it, and see where it, you know, really went wrong. And society just waiting for you to come back and give us some type of resolution on why you weren't supposed to use it. Why did you use it? You know, we asked that high where, when, where type thing, where we want to know this, that, and the third. 
and you just wasn't giving it to us and you still when you had the opportunity you still went past the mark you did not give us anything or why you would think you could say that and then out loud in public amongst other people oh lord have mercy but anyway moving from there uh he concluded with a message of thanks for all the memes all the support all the kind words he also added, now we're just waiting on Duke, though it's unclear what he was referring to there. And hell, the whole thing he said was unclear, okay? It left me in the twilight zone. And I guess I'll be residing over there until somebody come pull me out, okay? But anyway, leaving that situation. Uh, it said, shortly after his removal, CBS released a statement confirming that Valentine had been officer for violating shows kind of code of conduct and there's no or there is zero tolerance in the house for using a racial slur while valentine himself has not specifically addressed his use of the n-word or removal from the house his father james told tmz that his son is definitely not a racist and even has black family <laughs> i said aren't we all aren't we all even from slavery time we are joined at the hip so in a sense, there is no black and white. We are the same. We are one, in other words. Okay? But, you know, a lot of people don't like to hear it. White is white. White is better. White is right. You know what I'm saying? Black get back. Uh, uh, Jack, uh, get back in your place uh, before we take you there. Uh, you know, all just negative stuff when you talk about black people and brown people, melanated people. Everything is just... Uh, seen or viewed as wrong okay but anyway going back to the article it says um according to james valentine has a black stepmother and step siblings he also said that his stepmother was disappointed to hear luke use the racial slur in the room with james saying he'll never before he's never before heard him use that word and see that's why i never really was uh attract well i ain't gonna say because i was attracted to a, a few white men you know what i'm saying but i just felt i didn't want to make a connection uh because i would get married and one day we'd get an argument and one day he would bring out that word because he, either his family members have said or used it before uh just to give you know use some type of contextual clue of why not to use it you know you know how white people have a talk with their children and tell what's what out there and, and don't be like that and invite your friends over and this that and the third you know what i'm saying so he see the um luke had a white mama and for whatever reason his dad divorced her and then he got some sugar and spice melanated nicely in his life okay and he just don't understand i mean how Oh, was Luke when you got with the melanated woman? Okay, did he was he already grown? You know, tell us what it is because if he's already grown, he's already in that mentality or what was told to him or what he heard by somebody and he thought it was okay to use. Uh, but anyway, going from there, <sighs> I don't know, he just got ejected from the house because they're just talking about a little rubbish now. Uh, so we're going to end, we're going to conclude that with that. Uh, lesson learned, don't use the word period. It'll keep you out of a lot of trouble, okay? And that's pretty much where you need to go with it. But that's all. I ain't got no more. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.